because you have no more than three seconds to go and do the approach from the moment that you see the girl. Okay, you're walking about, oh, there's a pretty girl right there. One, two, okay, I'm going in. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I've been helping tons of men, tens of thousands over the past decade, achieve their dream dating life extremely quickly. Okay, I have a system that's very straightforward, practical, efficient, effective, and optimized. So I urge you, if you are new to my channel, or if you have not yet subscribed, press the subscribe button and press the notification bell to be alerted of new videos every single day. In today's video, we're gonna be covering how to talk to any girl, even if you are nervous or anxious. Okay, approach anxiety and that fear of going up and talking to a stranger is very real and very, you know, scary. I've been through it countless times myself. I remember when I was first doing game, I would be on the subway or I'd be in the taxi, like on the way to the bar, and I'd be like, you know, shaking a little bit with my openers list and my routines list and all this shit in old school game, just fucking terrified. We're literally wishing I could be doing anything else. And a lot of you feel that as well. Okay, there's this natural instinct inside us, which is antiquated, meaning it's, it's outdated, okay, in our biology called the fight or flight response. It has to do with the amygdala fear circuit in our brain neurologically, and that gets triggered Okay, there's a threshold here, and it gets triggered when you see a pretty girl and you wanna go talk to her, okay? Because there used to be evolutionary consequences if you went in and you were rejected or if she was taken and, the, and the, the person that's with her could kill you, for instance. We feel those feelings in the modern day, and I'm gonna give you strategies how to approach the girl even when you're anxious. First, let's face and come to terms with the fact that we're feeling very anxious when we want to approach. A lot of you are feeling that. Most of you, I'd venture to say, it's totally natural. Okay, is the good news. But it's like that feeling like, oh, right? Like you feel like adrenaline, you feel like your heart pounding, you feel like maybe sweaty palms and you're like, fuck, right? I wanna talk to the girl, but what if she doesn't like me? What if she has a boyfriend? What if other people over here? What if she gives me a negative reaction and insults me? Uh, can my ego handle that? Can I just do the next one, right? When I teach live programs, when I teach live boot camps, I tell guys, okay, someone hit this girl in the red dress coming this way. Oh, which girl? Uh, the only girl right there, okay? The only one in the red. And guys are like, oh, you do it, you do it. Uh, I'll do the next one. Everyone wants to succumb to that uncomfortable feeling and just say, oh, I'm, I'm not gonna do it this time, okay? I'm, yeah, that gives you a 0% chance, okay? When you see an attractive girl and you don't approach, you now have a 0% chance, okay? You, you've only guaranteed one thing, namely that you're not gonna ever get laid with that girl. So we feel that feeling, okay? It wells up inside us and it's not gonna go away. Even at this level, at the time of this recording, I'm at 1,482 girls. I still feel that, okay? It's, it's just a natural biological reaction that happens when you see a pretty girl that you want to talk to. Okay, and I'm gonna go over strategies for how to overcome that. But first, I wanna urge you guys, okay, we have three-day boot camps. We teach them all over the world. We're running them routinely in Dallas, Texas, in Miami, Florida, in New York City, okay, in Las Vegas, in California. Okay, we run them in London. We have coaches that can do stuff in Australia and in Canada. So I urge you, we will have in the description a link for a three-day boot camp call where you can go on and it's a free call and ask all your questions about the live programs. Okay, I'm getting the best results in the industry by far there as well. Okay, some of my coaches recently ran a program where there was three coaches in Vegas and there was eight students. I always do three to one ratio. Okay, so if there's just one coach, max three students, two coaches, max six. In this example, max nine, but we had eight students and seven out of the eight took girls home one of the nights. Okay, that's not happening anywhere, not even close. In that, and I wasn't even running that program personally, but I'm having guys coach for me that are the next best guys I know in the game, that know the game inside out, that know how to teach it extremely well and effectively. Okay, and they're teaching my method, and these are guys that I've trained personally. Seven out of eight guys pulling in one night, that's extremely, it's exact, it's completely unheard of. Get on one of those calls, and we'll go over 
exactly what the bootcamp entails, the pricing options, payment plan options, financing options, etc., and go over what city we can potentially plan for to do that training. Now, on to the solution. I really like Mystery's analogy, the great pickup artist Mystery. He says, treat approach anxiety or treat that feeling, that uh, uncomfortable feeling like a pebble in your shoe. Okay, if you were to have a rock or pebble in your shoe, you wouldn't just stop walking. Okay, you'd feel it, you acknowledge that it's there, but it doesn't stop you from walking and doing what you want to do. And the same applies here. Okay, you're gonna feel that uncomfortable feeling, but you have to condition yourself habitually to go and do it anyways. As you see that the world does not end and you do not die and you go on to see another day and do another approach, that it's not that big of a deal, okay? It seems like a very big deal before you do it. It's, it's like dipping your foot in the pool. It's like, oh, the pool's cold, the pool's cold, I don't wanna do it. And people might yell at you from inside the pool, just fucking jump in, you pussy, right? And then you jump in and it's, oh, it's a little cold, but then you adapt pretty quickly and then you're like, wow, I can't believe I was waiting so long to jump in the pool. The same is true here, okay? You're gonna feel that scared feeling, you're gonna feel that anxious feeling, and the best way to get over it is not only to remember the pebble analogy where it's just there and you ignore it, but also to follow the three second rule. Okay, this is an old school rule in the game that I really like because you have no more than three seconds to go and do the approach from the moment that you see the girl. Okay, you're walking about, oh, there's a pretty girl right there. One, two, okay, I'm going in. Okay, what this does, number one, causes you to take action. Number two, it prevents you from coming up with a long list of negatives. Remember what I said earlier in the video. What if she has a boyfriend? What if she doesn't like me? What if other people here? What if her friends come in and embarrass me? And you know, so on and so forth. Okay, what if, what if she has a husband? What if I'm not her type? It, you can just go on and on with this and all that's doing is handicapping you and all those voices are just gonna be screaming at you, don't go in, don't go in, don't go in. And then you're like, okay, I'm not gonna go in. Why? Because you, you waited too long and you succumbed to all these negative fucking thoughts that are gonna come naturally. So instead, train yourself to go and take action and hope for the best, but you need a good strategy as well. Okay, that's where my bootcamp training comes in handy. On the live boot camps, the instructor is there winging with you in real time, giving you feedback in real time during the interaction, prompting you on what to do next and also giving you feedback in between each interaction. So we solve the problems very quickly. The goal of the bootcamp is twofold. Okay, we want guys to acclimate as quickly as possible to my optimized system, and we want to clear away all the problems and bottlenecks that exist in what the guy is doing wrong as quickly as possible as well. Okay, so with this, those two things uh, in mind, you're gonna be executing very quickly, and anytime you make a mistake, the coach is gonna correct it, and now that problem is solved permanently. Okay, the reason why the bootcamp is, is so valuable is in the eight-week mentorship or in the standalone products like Occam's Razor and Leads Machine, you don't have uh, someone there live with you by your side directing you on exactly what to do according to the optimal strategy that I've set forth and also what to not do and stop doing, okay? Fixing your problems iteratively very quickly as they come up, okay? So they're gonna see, okay, no, your, your body language is off. Oh, your tonality is off here. You're not speaking loud enough. Okay, you're gonna wanna be physical next time. And very quickly, usually on night one, we're blasting through most of the big issues and holes in your game. Hey, my, nights two and three are more of a refining process, but that program will equip you to know what to do, know what to say, know how to run the interactions, and how to effectively take girls home from bars and clubs and during the daytime. So to recap, you're gonna feel those uncomfortable feelings. You're going to be scared. Okay, you're gonna wanna chicken out. You're gonna wanna pussy out, but you need to make a hard rule for yourself. Okay, if you take away anything in this video, take away this. Tell yourself right now, repeat after me. I actually want you to say this to the camera. When I see a hot girl, I am going to approach her in three seconds or less. I am going to approach her in three seconds or less. Now, it's you versus you now, okay? There's no, there's no one there that's gonna be holding your hand, that's gonna be pushing you into the interaction unless you take a boot camp, okay? A lot of guys want that push. They want the instructor to routinely send them in over and over and not just send them in, but give them proper strategy and also clear away their weak points. That's the value of the bootcamp. In three days, you can clear away most of the big problems that exist in your cold approach 
and acclimate to optimal strategy. And for all you that are watching this and think, oh, I'm doing plenty good online. Online is good, but it should only be used to supplement your cold approach results. Okay? In cold approach, you don't have to wait to match some attractive girl. You can walk up to a nine in public. You can walk up to an 8.5 in public. You don't have to hope that you can match them with your online profile. But then what happens after you approach, it's gonna be dependent on how you run your interaction. Okay, so you're gonna to need to be equipped with solid strategy and tactics. But I want you guys to make that commitment to be waiting no longer than three seconds because you're gonna see a hot girl in public sometime soon, usually every day. And you're going to probably chicken out unless you have that hard rule and unless you hold yourself accountable. Okay, that's what I mean about it's being you versus you. I'm not there to hold your hand. Okay, no one else is there to hold your hand unless you take the live program. And you need to push yourself. You need to tell yourself, I'm committing to this rule, this three second rule, and I'm not gonna fuck it up anymore. I'm not gonna give in to those negative thoughts. I'm not gonna wait around, you know, like a scared pussy succumbing to these feelings that are now outdated in my biological circuitry. Instead, I see the girl, boom, go in. Okay, I see another girl, boom, go in. That will change your life. Okay, so you don't have to give in to this anxiety anymore. Approach anxiety literally can be solved by making that commitment. And one other little tip I'll throw in that I tell my mentorship student, uh, the guys on my programs, I say, listen, Mystery also used to advocate back in the day that you can give your wing $200, for instance, and with each legitimate approach you do, you get back $20. So if you guys go out to a bar or club, hey man, here's $200. Okay, now. And it can't just be, oh, hey, how are you doing? Like a, a quick little throwaway approach. It has to be a legitimate approach. Hey, I want to meet you, what's your name? And you go through and try to run the interaction. Each one that you do, you get back $20. So you're either doing 10 legitimate approaches or you're losing degree of money. Could be the whole 200 if you do zero approaches. If you do five, you only lost 100 bucks. But now there's an actual consequence to not doing the approach. When you're by yourself and you're like, oh, I'm just not gonna approach that girl, there's no consequence. You can give in to those fears and there's, no, and there's no repercussion for it. I hope this was very useful for you guys. If you want the whole step-by-step -step system of how to run the cold approaches, how to answer objections to take the girls home, Okay, let us help you work through this approach anxiety problem. It's a problem for most guys, and I've been solving that problem for 10 years for guys. Okay, we're there to help. Jump on one of those bootcamp calls with the link in the description, and we'll go over all the details and pricing of the bootcamps and try to arrange which particular city. And, there, and we can do them in any city around the world. Let us know on the call which city you want to do, and we will make it happen. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Press the like button with your thumb right now. That'll help promote the video. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments, in particular difficult situations you've been in in the past in regards to approaching and how you overcame them or how you're trying to overcome them and how this information might have helped you to overcome them now as you move forward. Okay, thank you guys so much and I will see you on the next video. Take care. Take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.